Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today, well today we are not going to be in the bee yard, we are going to be downstairs in my shop and we are going to be reviewing and assembling a bee castle beehive. Me, I'm a guy that usually likes to glue my boxes together. These are waxed boxes so I'm not going to be able to do that, but I don't think I'm going to have to with a dovetail joint. So you want to line your, your front up with your side and just push. No mallet necessary. Look at that. Tap for good measure. Wasn't necessary. That's nice. Okay. Make sure the top is aligned with the top. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's see if this goes in just as nicely. Look at that. Okay. It's our handle on the outside facing the top. We're going to line it up. Ha! Huh. Look at that. That is amazing. I mean, that is amazing. Okay, now we want to check for square. A very important step. If you don't have a if you don't have a square, you're just building this at, a, at your house and you don't have all the tools. Um, you can use anything that you find that is square in your house. Heck, the side of a uh, DVD case or a CD case, you've got a 90 degree angle in there. Make sure that it's square. That one is. That one is dead on. Excellent. I guess what we'll do now is add the screws. They're giving us some nice screws here. I'm not going to bore you with a screwdriver. I'm just going to get my drill and we'll, we'll move past this area really quick here. Right. One screw right there. I mean, the quality of this hive is amazing. I mean, it's just amazing. Well, I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to take a second before I put this thing together. I want to show you a few things. You know what I'm going to do? Let me put one side together first. Just to make sure that what I'm telling you is accurate. I believe what I'm telling you is accurate. So I want to show you a few things. First thing I want you to look at are these joints. I mean, those are tight and right. Just tight. That is gorgeous. Another thing, you can't really notice because I've already put the screws in, but let's look at the other side here. All of the screw holes are countersunk. That is beautiful. That way when you put your screws in, they flush them out. No splitting. This is a nice hive. Here you go. You think I'm being paid to say that, but I'm not. I'm showing you everything I can see here. This is a beautiful, beautiful box. This is much better. I expected that it would be. This surprises me. I'm serious. I mean, this is this is my surprised face. I'm surprised. Really didn't expect it to be this good. Okay. Okay. So here is a flaw. I don't think it's really going to impact the hive at all, but it's still a flaw. So I'm going to show you. Right here, part of the dovetail is broken off. We have more missing part of the dovetail there, but it doesn't go all the way through. I didn't see a piece laying around inside the box, so so there you go and there you have it. I think it'll be okay. I do not think it's going to affect the outcome of this build. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, there's the first box. That's the deep. That's done. We'll go ahead and set that on the bottom board. I like that. There we go. You're going to be some happy bees. Let's go with the uh, the medium now. Just going to rush through this really quick. Same process. <laughs> it just goes together like butter. Now, I don't know whether it's the wax making them fit this nicely. I mean, very snug and very easy to put in. I didn't use the hammer. Honestly, I would set it out there right now. Just a couple of screws. Perfectly square. These are well made. All right, put some screws in it. We'll, we'll move on to the, to the frames. Okay, I do want to show you this. So if you look right here, and it's hard to see, but there's actually a crack coming up from the side of this dovetail. 
and across the box. Now, once these are screwed in place, it's not going to matter. And with all the wax on here, there's no water or weather going to be getting in. And it appears to not go through to the other side, but I just wanted to show you. Make sure, fair for one, fair for all, right? We want to make sure we give an honest review. I'm not going to put my credibility on the line and say something's good when it's not. All right, box two. Perfectly square. Okay, now, standard frame building. Frame building 101. Piece of cake. I'm gonna build one or two, then I'll just show you the finished hive. Picture introducer. Okay, frame building 101. You're going to have a top, you're going to have a bottom, you have two sides. Now, I could just stick these together and I could just nail them, but I'm a glue guy, so I'm gonna glue them. A little dab of glue there, a little dab of glue here, right like so, that like so, a little dab of glue here, a little dab of glue here, and there you go. Now you may want to, depending on how you like to build frames, you may want to put your foundation in right now. I usually snap it in at the end, but for you new beekeepers, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to put it in right at the beginning. And here's some of the deep foundation that they've provided, and it's it's a nice foundation. It's double waxed, smells good. I'm sure the bees are gonna like it. I wanna drop it down in this groove right here. We'll do it from the backside so you can see. Just like so. Put it in the top groove up here. You have a little chamfer there, a little channel. There you go. There's your frame. Give it a nail or two. We'll see. We'll just run that away. This is generally not how I do it. I usually do it with my nail gun. I'll probably do the rest with my nail gun. But not everybody has a nail gun. That is one frame complete and ready to go in the box. Now, it's nail gun time. That is the last frame. Okay, so let's do the final assembly on this hive. Now, the bottom board, I found this out the hard way. Actually, if you put it together first, put the bottom side up, then the uh, entrance reducer doesn't work. So you flip it over, make sure you have the deep side up. You can put your entrance reducer in, fits perfectly. And what we want to do is put our brood chamber in. Got its frames in there, it looks good. All right, and then the medium. Right there. I guess what we could do is we could put our queen excluder right there. Then our medium right there. Then our inner cover. The lid. There you have it. That is a beautiful hive. Now I'm going to get the camera and I'm going to move around this hive and let you take a look at it. Okay, so this is what I see. First of all, the joinery on this on this hive is just amazing. Very tight joints. The screws are all countersunk. Very well built. The wax is so thick on here, you can scrape off with your finger. So I think this hive is going to stand up to the weather now. Again, I'm a stain and finish guy, but this is a, this is a very nice waxed hive. The joinery is in great shape all the way around. The box is completely square. And 
entrance reducer fits. All right, well, there you go then of a bee castle hive build. Now, I tell you what, I was not expecting this hive to be of the quality that this hive is. And I'm not just saying that. I tell you what, if, if this was a bad product, if this was a bad hive, I would tell you that it's a bad hive. This is a good hive. I, I'm really impressed with the, the wax coating. Now, I don't run waxed hives. Most of my hives are sanded, stained, and finished, and that's just the way that I like to roll. However, this hive is very, very nice. The wax coating is very thick, and it's going to lend itself well to what I have planned for it, and I'll share that with you some other time. Um, but this hive went together fairly easily. You don't need any tools. Basically, a hammer, a screwdriver uh, for the screws, a hammer for the nails. If you don't have a square, you can use a CD case or something like that. You don't need any mallets or anything like that. It just it goes together so easily. I don't know whether it's because of the wax on there, but it slipped together and it's a nice tight box. It's beautiful all the way around. Um, definitely quality. I like the, uh, the the screws in the side that are holding it together. They're all countersunk. They really did not did not cut any corners on the on the quality of this hive. I would say that this is built as well as the flow hive when I received it and that hive cost me a thousand dollars so there you go. So with all of that said I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope if you're a new beekeeper you might consider this hive to be one that you can purchase. The whole hive everything you need to house some bees came in one small box. You get two of those and you're in good shape. Now I don't know how much it costs I'll put that information in the description when I find it. Um, but you could do worse. And again, this is coming from a guy who builds his uh, deeps and his mediums out of uh, seconds from Man Lake and Better Bee.